Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this eye look as well as my brows. I'm going to be using no false eyelashes for this look as some of you guys have requested in the past. Just to let you guys know, this video is sponsored by Annabelle. I'm going to be talking a little bit about their new mascara and um, that's pretty much it. Now you know, before it's too late. And now it's too late. You have to stay and hang out. Sorry man, let's do this. Here we are. Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow primer just using my nub and finger and I'm using MAC Paint Pot in soft ochre. And then I'm going to apply a base shadow, just any eyeshadow that's going to match the color of your skin, just to make it easier to blend out other colors later. Okay, so I'm going to grab the color Mod right there from the Tardis Pro Palette, and I'm going to take that on a little Smith 230 brush, and we're going to start to kind of sketch out our outer V. And then I'm going to take a Smith 232, which is a slightly bigger brush, to start to blend that out. And I'm going to blend up into my eye socket. I'm also going to be blending out this entire look with this color called Bold. So taking that and blending that right into my eye socket. So instead of blending into my crease, which is right here, I'm blending more up into my actual bone structure. Again, taking the first color, that nice red tone. And we're just going to continually be building up colors blending them away. I'm going to take the first brush that we used and I'm going to go right under the front of my brow and start to create just a little bit of depth there, but we're not going to connect it with the actual brush. We're just going to put the depth down and then use our blending brush to kind of connect those colors, but not really. Next we're going to grab the color Drama right there. And I'm just taking this on a little Cosette brush. It's the number S185. And I'm going to start to add a little bit more depth to the eye there. Taking my Smith 230 brush, I'm going to blend that away. So I'm using progressively smaller brushes, and again I'm going to take a little bit of that, just the remnants on my brush, and apply it right under that brow bone. Now we're going to go to an even smaller brush. This is from London Brush Company, it's number 11, and I'm going to dip back into that same color that we just used, Drama. This is my favorite way to add depth to a look. I think it just keeps it controlled and it keeps it from getting too muddy. If you just go right in with the darkest color ever trying to create depth, that's not really gonna do much for you. But right now we're layering and because we're using smaller and smaller brushes, it's just helping us to kind of create that gradient. And it's also keeping the look controlled and everything in the place that I want it to be. So now jumping back to the Cosette brush, I'm gonna use that to start blending this out. See, see my method here? See the plan? So basically every time I jump to a smaller brush, I'm going to use the brush that I used before um, to blend it out. And then every once in a while you can jump to your biggest brush and just quickly wash over it. Now I'm jumping to my Sigma L04 brush, just a tiny tiny little pencil brush, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the black color and mix it with drama. How much smaller can you get? You're about to find out. And I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit what's left on my brush and blend that right into there. Picking up the last brush. And I'm going to bring that a little bit further down onto my lash line. And then I can also use this brush to just bring some under my lower lash line. I'm going to pick up my little Cosette brush and just continue to blend that away. Always sticking to that socket shape, make sure that you don't start blending into your crease because otherwise this will not line up. And again, I'm going to jump back to my biggest brush and just quickly wash over that. Then I'm going to be taking my Smith 304, it's a little lip brush but it's very very precise and thin and I'm going to be using it on its side with a little bit of my black eyeshadow. And again, I'm just applying that in our little V shape, continually adding dimension. I'll blend that away with my little Cosette brush. Then I'm going to take my little Smith 230 and just do a little rough blend over that. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Mod, which was our first color there, and I'm just going to start bringing that under the lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take my um, Real Techniques accent brush and I'm going to be using the color Drama. Alright guys, let's try this mascara out. So this is the Annabelle Expandable Mascara. Basically the whole idea behind it is that you can twist the brush here and it makes it longer or shorter depending on what you're looking for. I'm going to make it 
really short and stubby. Well, what I'm really gonna do is curl my lashes. I remember in middle school, everyone would put on like 13 coats of mascara and then curl the shit out of their lashes right after. That was always a treat. Okay, I made mine really short and stubby because that's what I look for in a mascara. And I'm gonna start right at the base and just kind of blink it on. I'm gonna make it long now and just see how it makes me feel. So to me, just my first impressions of this mascara, if you want it more lengthening, I would make it longer. And if you wanted it to thicken your lashes more, I would sooner make it short and fat. I personally would probably keep this mascara short the entire, this is drying out so much. I'd probably keep it short the entire time just because I like my lashes to be thicker. I'm not too concerned about length as much as I like it just to be really full and dark right at the base. Overall, I think this mascara did a good job of adding a nice amount of thickness right at the base and it seemed to separate them quite well as well. I know we're skipping lashes, but it feels really unnatural to not glue something onto my face. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing my brows. Woo! I never show you guys this part because it takes me so long to do my brows. So anyways, let's just do it. This is, this is for you, babe. I'm gonna start with Benefit Gimme Brow in shade three, and I'm just going to comb that through my entire head of hair. I like to do this first because I just feel like it gives me a better indication of where I'm really needing to fill in, even though I could probably guess it's right here. It just adds some fullness, makes my brows nice and fluffy. And so I kind of just brush that through the way that my brow hairs naturally grow. Next I'm going to take Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown. And I'm going to take this on my little Smith 203 brush. And I'm going to literally draw on little brush strokes. And I draw about two or three and then I go through with a little spoolie. Sorry, I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I'm still keeping it a secret even when I'm showing you. Um, okay, so I just basically... I, I just do the same thing on my outer corner. But I start to define my arch a little bit as well. Probably not that much though. And so the whole time I'm always brushing through, brushing through, getting rid of that excess. I just accidentally plucked off part of my flesh right there. Do not recommend. Oh my god, I'm trying not to brush over that part. Danger zone. Okay, so when I have my brows where I want them, I just take my Anastasia Brow Gel, just in clear. And I just make them as large and in charge as humanly possible. And then sometimes I will actually go through with another round of Gimme Brow if I'm feeling crazy. So this is the final look. So that is everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool today. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I will get back to you. Alright guys, peace out.